Hey there, my name is Kenzie Lettman. I'm with Media Matters Incorporated. This week we were interviewing some of the key companies that were participating at SEMA 360 this year. Stay tuned for what they have to say. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. Um, just right off the bat, uh, what is Linex showcasing at SEMA this year? Do you, guys have, do you guys have like new products or are you kind of bringing some things back to gain a little more traction? Tell me a bit about that. Yeah, so um, we, we do have some new products uh, that we did want to feature. Um, some of the, the latest accessories in our exclusive uh, lineup of products called Truck Your By Linux, which is only available to um, the Linux network. Um, so okay. it's kind of an exclusive brand for us. Um, we're excited to keep building it. Um, the idea being that really it becomes a one-stop shop for any customer out there that's looking for a bed liner, a tunnel cover, uh, anything they want to customize to their vehicle. Um, so we have some new products on that line. Um, a new tunnel cover with an innovative latch feature that you can open very easily and quickly with a single turn, turn knob. Uh, we just launched the networks. We're excited about that one. That's certainly one of the products that we're featuring in the new products showcase. Uh, we, we also wanted to feature some of our franchise builds from around the network. Uh, they do such amazing work out there that uh, any chance we, we have to kind of showcase them in a larger light, uh, we definitely want to do that. One in particular uh, we were excited about came from one of our applicators in Russia. Oh. They built this, uh, they call it the, the Toyota Hercules, Hercules uh, 6x6. Uh, it's a Toyota and it's built on a, a, an added 6x6 uh, framework. It's very cool, very interesting. Um, and they always want to bring a vehicle to SEMA because they do some crazy builds over there. And as mm -hmm. you would imagine, uh, <laughs> shipping something from Russia to, um, to Las Vegas is quite expensive. So um, this opportunity at least gave us the chance to highlight them with some, some video of their build, um, some images, just information about what they're doing um, at Linux Moscow. Uh, so that was, that was pretty cool. We were excited to be able to do that and they were excited to be able to participate in that. So that's definitely always something we're mindful of, uh, of sharing the work that's being done out there uh, across, across the, the globe really of, our, of Linux franchises and applicators. So just leading into SEMA this year, um, how it's on the digital landscape and like comparing to last year, what was your preparation process like? Like how did you prepare for going digital and being doing all of this online rather than in person in Las Vegas? Yeah, so um, very different. Uh, pretty big learning curve, um, especially with, uh, you know, kind of a product like ours um, with Linux coding, you, you get so much from seeing and feeling and touching. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a hard thing to capture digitally in an image or even a video. Uh, so that, that was certainly something we were mindful of, certainly a challenge. Um, but we kind of wanted to see what this landscape was going to be like. Um, who, who knows where trade shows will be in the future? Um, so we certainly wanted to have some experience with a virtual show. Uh, it's, it's really the first one we've done. Um, so we were trying to think what was the best way to kind of get our messages out there um, in, a, in a concise way that people could interact with online. And, and it's, it's, it's certainly a challenge. It's still a learning curve that we're, we're developing um, because we kind of lose that spontaneity and the, and the, the physicality of, of the products. Um, but we're, we're figuring it out as I think uh, many other exhibitors and manufacturers are. Um, but we certainly uh, narrowed down the messages we wanted to convey um, trying to kind of shift our usual game plan of SEMA, which is um, maybe not as a flashy build like we would have always tried to do. I um, was mm -hmm. trying to get uh, a lot of media attention, um, always franchise attention. Um, so really just try to narrow down some specific messages to focus on for this year. But it's a learning experience um, and we're going to learn from it and, and prepare for the future for it. Um, just because we, you know, who knows? what the trade show landscape is going to look like. Um, I think we do all miss SEMA, uh, physical SEMA though. There's, there's not much that can replace. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This was a Media Matters production. If you liked what you saw, subscribe for more or check out our other videos.